Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's hit random and see who we get. Kane. Okay. Played Kane a couple episodes back. I'm okay with this. 1.2 times damage multiplier. So that's all well and good. One less health. Start with the lucky foot, which is just one luck up. And uh, a bit shorter range. Actually didn't expect that hopper to hop all the way over to me. Battery, that's potentially exciting. And a key, good. Little brimstone, hey buddy. So little brimstone is a little brimstone, he just shoots and goes pew pew. Very, very powerful familiar. Really one that's always welcome. I generally I generally forget to use him, but you know. That's fine. I just have to keep him in mind and not run into spikes. Because spikes are bad for my health. But yeah, as you can see, Little Brimstone is just awesome. He does good stuff. I want another bomb. Can I have one, please, game? Would you be so kind as to be uh, generous and amiable? Amiable? However the word is pronounced. So for once, I'm actually not doing a 3 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. recording. Hey, another bomb. Wonderful. Let's center ourselves. That way we can get all of the things. And I'll put this here. Nice. I'll take it. It's something. Let's go. What's in the store for us? Cool. That's lucky. That's very, very lucky. So now, we will have the full map. Forever. That's good stuff. I'm gonna go in. It wasn't really a good idea, but I was hoping there'd be black hearts or something. Whoops. We can go to the shop now, at least. We've got that going for us. I'm bad at lining up these large rooms. Okay, so it's in line with this. I'm bad at lining up for placing bombs and such. Just always seems to throw me off. Oh well. I could use Bob's rotten head for... Oh, hey, hive mind. You know, it's kind of hard to go wrong with the 7 cent hive mind. I can throw Bob's rotten head at the wall and get that top secret room. Come back to this room and pick up the battery. That's a good plan. This is less than a good plan. Um, I can't really do that without killing myself. Or at least damaging myself more than I would like to. So we're gonna just pass on that for now. And take out the boss. So yeah, Little Brimstone is just doing some great work for us. I really don't find him very often. What do we get? Jesus juice. Awesome. Damage and a range up. Range up is very, very extremely useful for Kane because his dam or his range rather is just bad. I'm gonna buy the bomb. Here. 
Let me leave a penny. <laughs> Alright, let's make our way back over to that top secret room and we'll do it right. That was so not worth it. Of all the great things that could have been in there, they just weren't there. <laughs> oh well, that's my luck. I should pick up that battery, but whatever. I'm not backtracking. It's not that far, but I'm just not going to bother. So, two soul hearts, little brimstone. Bob's rotten head. Yeah, all you line up. Whoop, no, no. Oh, you're a bomb one. I didn't realize that one was going to have a bomb in it. If I did, I would have thought more and tried to get it to blow up this, but everything works out. I like when they get stressed and blow up. It makes life easy for me. The leech? Okay. I can take that. I'm I'm okay with this. Very good item when it kills an enemy, it heals me by a half heart. So, you know, that's kind of a nice thing to have in my life. If I could get bloody lust, then we'd be in even better shape. Like, that would be a crazy good thing for me to get. The sun. The sun. Praise the sun. Fine, be that way. I'll skip a room. Don't think I won't. The sun is more of a panic button, in my opinion. I don't exactly need it, so I won't exactly be using it. As you can see though, the leech randomly just healed me up a little bit right then. So... Yeah, this thing... It's everything we could ever ask for. Well, not quite everything. Everything would consist of getting bloody lost in addition to this. And then we'd be set. Okay, took out that one. Come on. Good. Alright. Tinted rocks. I don't see any. Hmm. Alright then. Two soul hearts, can't complain. Alright, oh, there's the main reason I came for this room. Kinda of forgot about it. Eh, sure, I don't have anything else. It'll randomly make us poop, and we'll do something else. Uh, you know, if I had more bombs. I'd consider that. Well, I'll take this. I'll come back for that. The shadow. I see. Well. Now I could take the knife. And that would be less fun. So we're gonna blow this up. I guess I'll use Bob's brain for it. That's one soul heart. I'm gonna finish off the floor and see if we run into any other soul hearts because killing myself off now for gaining that advantage of being Judas's shadow 
That's kind of a big deal. Really, I guess I should have waited to pick up that health up. That's two soul hearts, that would put us at four. Not much different than where we're at already. So, massive damage up. Starts with only two black hearts. And, uh, yeah. It's just a really, really powerful damage up. Can't remember exactly how much that it is. But, it's a lot. I think it makes us start with seven base damage or something like that. That sounds vaguely correct, vaguely familiar to me. Somewhat correct, vaguely familiar, is what I'm trying to say. So now we need health ups. And, yeah, health ups would be pretty much all we need. Whoa, I didn't see that spider coming in at me. That was just bad. I see. Well, how about you go right there, and I blow you up with those. That was worth. Oh boy. Alright, well. Not the end of the world. Whoop. Nice, got more bombs. We'll visit the secret room now. See what we can see. A red fire, it's not what we want in our life. And they didn't give me anything good. Raise the sun. Oh, God. I forgot that one splits. Okay, we're in bad shape. Come on with the magic mushroom. A tears up, that's nice, I guess. Come on, magic mushroom. Nope. No dice. Little brimstone saving me. A range up, cool. Shielded tears. Uh, I don't, I don't think so. I'm thinking that's bad for my health at the moment. My fire rate is not good enough to uh, warrant taking it, and I don't have spectral or rather piercing tears. Um, because if you have piercing tears and shielded tears then your tears don't disappear when they contact enemies' tears. So... Yeah. I'll take that. I'll come back for it, though. Ooh, black candle. Okay, well... I need money. Give me money. <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh, the fool. 
Whoop, whoop. Oh boy. I'm really not in the mood to die here, game. I'm really, really not. I just need a little bit of money. And I can buy that black candle. And everything will be right with the world. Oh, cool. I traded the fool for the fool. Useful. I'm gonna go throw this at the donation machine again. And then it'll give me money. And hopefully it's enough. Thank you, game. We are now immune to curses, and I've got a little bit more health. Phew. Okay, I guess we'll fight the boss, because... I mean, why not? Oh, Mega Fatty. Fun. Not really. I'm not a big fan of this boss. Mostly because of the jumps, and you never know when he's going to do a fast jump or a short jump. Health, thank you, game. And I'm very actually, for once, happy I didn't earn a devil room, because I wouldn't have been able to do anything with it. It just would have been pointless. Why am I walking back? Seriously. Could have just used the fool. That lucky soul heart drop. No tinted rocks in there. And all the poops. Wow. Bomb, okay. I'm considering going to the curse room. I'm not entirely sure if I want to, though. I'll do it. It's a bad idea. It's always a bad idea. Okay, maybe it's not always a bad idea. <laughs> because you could just become two-thirds Guppy, not lose any health, and get nine lives, and Guppy's head, and everything will be peachy. That's, that's a possibility. And I have a hive mind from earlier! I forgot about that. Okay, then. Well, I think things are turning around now. I need to stop by that top secret room and pick up the eternal heart. I'm considering opening this chest. I'm doing it. Eh. Paid for itself. It could have been better. Could have been worse. I'm okay with how it was. I forgot the soul heart was here. All right, let's go. Two-thirds guppy. That luck. What are the odds? No more curses for us. Come on, Leech. Stop derping out when you run into him. There you go. Thank you. And thanks for the key. It makes my life easier. Forget me now. I see. 
so I would have to lose my fly army that I'm starting to develop. Um, if I become guppy on this floor, then yeah, I'll, I'll come back for the forget-me-now and do it. No doubt in my mind about that, if I become guppy, I will totally use that. Hmm. Battery. I'm considering waiting and seeing if I get two bombs. That way I can go into the curse room that way. That would be a smart decision. What are we on? Catacombs 2? What is that on the Catacombs 2? I don't remember. Oh, Pandora's box. I can never remember what exactly you are. But that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Wish I could have redirected it towards that tinted rock, but no such luck, and that's fine. Yeah, I think this run really turned around. Like, it was scary there for a minute. And then that curse room. The husk. The dead. No devil room again, though. Bit of a shame. Oh well, we got a nice damage up from it. I guess we'll head over that way now. No reason really not to. Not guppy. I don't know, should I use the forget me now now? I mean, if I do, then... I don't know. I'm liking my fly spawn ability. I'm really, really liking it. It's very useful, because these flies do four times my damage. Is that worth sacrifice, sacrificing for the uh, chance to do this floor again and to possibly maybe get a devil room? I don't really think it is. I honestly don't. I mean, it feels like it's a waste, but on the other hand, I would lose such a huge portion of my build right now. And there's no guarantee I'll become Guppy. So Guppy's head is going to be big for me if I don't. Because flies that do four times my damage are kind of a big deal. Oh, thank you. I actually didn't expect you to pay out. My wizard. No, I can't say that I am. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we can see. We're gonna wait for our wizardiness to, uh, you know, cool off. It's one of the more annoying pills in the game. Just because it makes you wait. I mean, there actually are a few rooms where it's useful to shoot sideways like this. But those are few and far between. Otherwise, it's just awkward and not worth struggling with. Pen?
Oh, hi there. Yeah, I'll open this for free. Don't think I won't. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh god. Flies, save me. That wasn't so terrible. Ooh. Demon beggar. See, now I wish I had taken... There's no way of knowing, though. I wish I had taken, uh... Shielded Tears, that's what it's called. Because now, I've got the correct setup for it. But there's no way of knowing, so... Oh well. Not the end of the world. And I'll keep playing this demon beggar. Looks like I don't need to. So now all drops will be double drops. As such, I should actually visit the shop. See if there's anything in here that I really have a need for. Okay. Eh, whatever. I'll actually leave them. I don't need it. The leech will supply me with what I need. <laughs> well, ah. A little bit close on that. Money, money, money. Top secret room. What do you have? Pills. I'm not a wizard. Speed down. Cool. Thanks, game. Uh, we're only on Necropolis 1. I can explore after. And we have double trouble boss, so let's see what this is. Gritty Jr., oh god. And they don't have knockback, so flies save me. Oh. Got hit. Got a nice tears up, and a devil room. Please have guppy things. Krampus. You jerk. I just wanted to become guppy. Are we going to have another one of those runs where I become two-thirds guppy and then don't get the last third because of stupid reasons? Because those runs are really less than fun. I might be slow, but I'm fast enough for that. Barely. I can blow this up. And we got a red chest, so that could be... It wasn't. But it could have been. Could have been very nice. Alright, let's head over this way now. Because full clearing is just what we do. Let's 
15 cents, nice. And I hear the uh, laughing, so I know the hands are coming. Hand, singular, one. That's what I like seeing. That is definitely what I like seeing in my life. Eternal hearts when they're needed most. Because my health situation's really not all that great. My damage is a bit meh. The flies are what's really doing it for me, though. I didn't really need to go here. I wanted to go here. I'm already getting one plus... I'm already getting two bombs. I don't need a double bomb thing. And the other item... Boomerang, was it? Yeah. I don't want that. I was hoping there'd be a key left over in there, but... Oh well. I don't know how I made that dodge. Oh, that could be good. Let's go to that big room. We might as well. It makes sense. So this will take a little while, but we'll get a lot of resources from it. Hopefully we get the petrified poop trinket. And if we do, then we'll get even more from it. Probably some soul hearts, even. So, hopefully that shows up sometime soon. There we are. So as you can see, there is already a significant increase to the number of drops that we are getting. <laughs> so, it's kind of a fantastic trinket to have. And really makes this a more worthwhile time investment. So even though it is a bit slow going, it's still something necessary to do. Because it's just the smart thing to do. So we just gotta keep going in circles. We've gotten three soul hearts from this so far, and there's another one down there, so that would make four. Definitely helps with our survivability. Come on now. We're near maxed on monies. We started this with 15 cents, didn't we? The only reason I'm continuing to do this now is because of the soul heart chance. Because money is maxed. Alright, well, that's everything here that I need. Now we'll go. It was worthwhile to do that. It really was. You know, just because I have all the money in the world, I'm going to go back to the shop and buy both of the items just to touch them. Well, just to touch the boomerang so that doesn't appear ever again in the shop. And to, uh just have the bomb thing because why not 
So this, it'll bring items to you, it'll stun enemies. It's nothing special. And I also should donate to this, to this until it just breaks on me. Come on, stay behind it. Get behind the donation machine, Isaac. Er, who am I playing again? Kane. That's right, I'm Kane. And pick up the rest of the money in case we get something fun like, uh, you know, money equals power. That would be nice. 0 0.04 damage for every penny. Definitely a good thing to have in our life. Unfortunately, couldn't get to that. Wish I could've. I do. I do also wish that I had taken... What's it called? Shielded Tears? But, now we know. Alright. So the secret room is here, which means I can go to the boss challenge room, although I could just sacrifice health, that makes more sense to do, especially since I have the leech. Like it's just the right thing to do. Whoop. I forgot that was there. <laughs> Alright, let's not walk into any more hearts before we're, we're ready. I'm doing it. That was not worth... Not worth it all. Thanks, game. Alright. Well, now we know. I never went into the secret, secret room. I openly opened it. Oh, it's greed. Cool. So that means the shop is safe. Which means I could have gone in there without sacrificing health. Again. Oh well. Now we know. <laughs> Keys. Perfect. Ooh. D4. That could be very interesting. That could be very, very interesting. I think I'm going to skip out on it. As much as I love the D4 and have a little bit of a problem with it. And by problem, I mean slight addiction to using it, despite getting good setups. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to skip out on it this time. Because losing this... It just wouldn't be right. Just would not be right. I'll take that. I'll take this. Yeah, none of those are really great. That is, though. That's what I was hoping I'd get. I didn't. I was about to say, were there any bombs in the shop? And then this happened. Oh, a half heart. Thank you. Thank you, game. You're a kind soul. Giving me things I don't even need. Oh, there was still blood there. Whoops. Did I go to the... I didn't. I went down there and I just didn't open it. Silly me. Useful. 
Alright, well, we don't need to bother exploring the rest of the floor. Let's just do it. Red Mom, I see. <laughs> the lack of Devil Rooms this run is disturbing. I'm earning them. I, I'm not taking damage, I'm just not getting them. This is relatively annoying. Accidentally just clicked off of the uh, game. It would have paused itself, and I caught it, though. I'll check that challenge room. Could be worthwhile. Two dimes, okay. Thanks, game. It wasn't worthwhile, really. Am I a wizard? I thought we've already discussed this. I'm, I'm clearly not a wizard. I'm a muggle. Simple, muggle, nothing special. Oh, hi. No tinted rocks. I thought I'd be able to avoid that. So I really, really want a devil room. Please, game. Thank you. Yes! Oh, the luck. The luck. Thank you, game. You're the best. You are the best. You know? Let's be smart. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna switch back to this. And now we've got soul heart generation every six rooms. Polaroid invincibility. Fly spawning. Okay. I'll just hang out here for a little bit. We'll get some soul hearts from it. Max our health. I'm okay with that. Judgment, cool. Fool, Suicide King, Strength, Wheel of Fortune and destruction. Well, I guess we'll take the luck up as long as we're gambling. Or, you know, be done. That's fine, too. I'm going to skip out on that dog food. Take the bombs. Do I want to keep my petrified poop? I really don't need it much anymore. Suicide King is not something I'm interested in. Uh, I mean, I do have nine lives, but it's not a good idea. We'll take the judgment card with us. That's the smartest thing to do. Well, I'll take out that boss challenge room, because I want to. That was just bad. No keys. Hmm. 
Really? Come on now. <sighs> Any day. Game. Please. Seriously? Two of hearts, yay! And we'll go over here. Because there's a boss challenge room that we are totally checking out. Doing it. Wish I hadn't. These flies, though. Hmm, huh, I see. Missing page two. I'll take that. I have a penny. There's really nothing in there terribly interesting or anything in there really at all that could have been good for me. I shouldn't have done that. I need keys. Game. <laughs> Alright, time to gamble for keys. Wow, okay. Really, the mulligan again? So. er. the mulligan. Skatol. Again, so early. Without much real effort at all. This can't give me keys, but it can do that. Which is something, I suppose. Whoops. It lives, it dies. I have no keys. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep exploring the floor because I need keys. It would be sad if I got to the chest with nothing. Whoop. Right about there. Right about here. Okay. Thank you, game. That makes up for it quite a bit. As does that. See, this is what I like. Lock down. Uh, no. Just because I've got some nice invincibility. I didn't want you to have my key. It's probably going to blow up that one too. Yep. Oh well. I got my key back. And we got Gimpy. Well, alright. We'll take out that last room on the way. Well, you know what I mean. 
Not the last room, but it's the last one we're doing. Seriously, a bombs or key pill would have been nice to have in the rotation this time. Alright, let's head up to the cathedral. See what we can see. That's a library. I'm very, very interested in going to the library. Fish head. Tears up. Joker. I see. Oh. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> I should have saved this. I should have saved this for the next floor and I know better. Just keep spitting out keys though, please and thank you. Well, the soul heart's nice, I guess. Any day now, we'll get a key, as I was saying. Another soul heart, okay. I can work with this. Alright, fair enough. Oh. I didn't see that at first. That could have been a bit more unpleasant than it was. At least we still have our judgment card. Let's see what's in here. I'll do it. Yes. Oh, yes. That's what I need. Let's get some money and get all of the keys. I don't find this trinket enough. I really don't. My phone's buzzing. Sorry if that was loud for you guys. There's something alive in here still? Oh, a little spider. Interesting room. Alright, let's keep fighting. Just because I want keys. And... The game will give me money. The fork. Don't need it. Would be a good synergy if I had, you know, actual red hearts instead of soul hearts. It would be a very nice synergy with the leech. Really, when you're playing Samson, you want a full a full set, full stack of red hearts. You want the leech, that trinket, the fork, charm of the vampire, and your set. You can play with bloody lust all day long. I really hope that's greed up in that. That would be nice. Whew. A little bit close on that. Not greed. I don't need the left hand. I'm in well enough shape without it. So we're just gonna keep moving. It's not very often where I actually do the cathedral.
All right, 14 keys is good enough. Let's take out the boss. I mean, there's one room left. I might as well clear it. I'll do that quick. It was worth. We got two keys out of it. I'm okay with this. Now, we will take out Isaac. Alright, let's go. The chest. Dead bird, jump button, magic mushroom, ruining my Polaroid invincibility. Why did I place the bomb there? That was the wrong button. I can just blow you up, can't I? That's what I thought. Little Chad is another one of those items that you went with, Samson. I mean, I guess I kind of have to take the magic mushroom. It's a 1.5 times damage multiplier. All stats up. Ruining the Polaroid invincibility, sadly. Oh, hi, Lust. But now my flies do even more damage, so who am I to complain? Don't really need that trinket. I'm good with what I've got. Especially with this room, because it'll give me a lot of keys. In theory. I'll take the virus. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hi. Might as well. Polaroid invincibility is already ruined, so might as well just keep going with it. Alright, let's finish off the rest of the floor first before we take out the boss. I should have done that first, honestly. I just started going in a direction and didn't really look at the map or in what was where. Shame on me, I guess. A whole lot of nothing in that room. Not getting very many chest drops. It's a bit sad, honestly. Like, at all. Oh well. I think we've got pretty much everything we need anyway. We've got Guppy, we've got Magic Mushroom, and we've got Judas's Shadow. Everything you could ever need. Where did the spiders come from? All 
All right, let's go. Let's take out that boss. Wish we had a bit more speed. That would be nice. We'd be able to get there faster. All right. Almost there. I'll pick that up just because, why not? No real reason not to. Go in here. And say goodbye. That's the run. That was a good run. Very lucky with that guppy form from that. Uh, red chest getting that tail. Ugh, man. It doesn't happen every day. It was my last chance, too, so that was pretty exciting. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time.